Hi, I'm going to demonstrate for you the way to take this Adobe Illustrator document and export it to uh, PNG or JPG or whatever file type you want to export it to. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust my artboard size. You can see this white space above here and below. It just shows that my artboard is larger than my work of art. So I want them both to match. I'm going to click on the artboard tool and then I can simply crop the artboard by grabbing this little handle. So now that my artboard is the same size, let me bring it up a little bit more here. Now that my artboard is the same size as my work of art, I'm going to click back on my selection tool so I can see the black lines indicate the size of my artboard. So I'll do a save as and I'm saving this document as a uh, week one composition. I will take out the uh, spaces because it it's always a good idea. Oops, look at that. It's always a good idea to have no spaces in your file name. The .ai stands for Adobe Illustrator. That means it's in its native file format. It's in Adobe Illustrator. So first I'll save that and I'm going to put a copy of this Adobe Illustrator file in my shared drive because I want you always to save your work to your shared drive so I can look at it. But now I'm going to export it file export and I'll choose export as. So here's where I'll have a list. You see I can choose PNG, a number of other things, or JPG. To post on Brightspace in our discussion forum you'll want to choose either PNG or JPG. For now I'll choose JPG and later on, we'll click Use Artboards. We don't need to today because we only have one artboard. But when you create a file with multiple artboards and you just want to export one of them, then you'd click Use Artboards and you would choose which artboard you want here. We only have one artboard, so we don't need to do that. And I'll choose Export. I'm saving it into my Downloads folder. The color mode RGB, that's fine. The resolution 72 PPI, that's fine too. So I'll click OK. And then uh, it has been exported. We can take a peek in my downloads folder and you can see that it's right there. All right. 